all right. So uh, last time we left off, we just built this massive grid system. And if you're new here, welcome. I, uh, I play City Skylines and pretend like I know what I'm doing. All right, let's dive in today. If you're enjoying this channel, please click the subscribe button. And if you enjoy my banter, uh, click the like button. Okay, so I built this really cool roundabout here uh, last time and I'm, I, it's grown on me. I was thinking about it all night and I'm like, oh, that's kind of neat. So uh, I noticed I have a problem over here. Oops. <laughs> I have no idea how long they've been without electricity. It's just part of the problem of the city, you know? We never really know what to expect from the day to day. So I was browsing some stuff and I found out we have a geothermal power plant. It's really neat. So it provides 80 milliwatts of power and I have been using these wind farms to try to keep everything clean. It's only 20. so. For the cost, let's see, this one's 12,000. This one is 65,000, 12, 24, uh, 48. So the wind is cheaper if you can get the right amount of it. So I'm liking this area here and this area has been on my mind to redo. This is a huge project that I definitely wanna dive into. So for now, I think what we're just gonna do is we're gonna keep this guy right here. We're gonna put some electricity in here. And I think we're also gonna raise the budget up a little bit. Our goal is to just try to keep these things evenly spaced and perfect. So let's do four of these things. I think three and then four. Cool, look, look at that. Now, if we hit play, we should solve our energy crises. Let's go, let's go. We got it. All right. Look at all the people over there, they're happy. Okay, so second thing, we got death care. Let's fix this real quick. So death care, we've got a lot of people having having some trouble here. Um, Where are the crematoriums and stuff? So we have a graveyard, what is this guy? This is a sauna, ugh. That's where we could put the dead, they'd smell like, well. <laughs> I won't get into it. Okay, so, ah, that's why. So there's a couple here. Um, yeah, we need to get this death care figured out. Where is, where is my death care? I guess I am looking at it. I just, like, I feel like it should tell me how many people are, like, awaiting, awaiting funeral transport at the moment. Um, where, do we, where should we put this? Where should we go? We're gonna run a freeway through here. So we wanna avoid that area. This area is a little busy. I don't like to have my cemeteries in busy areas. So why don't we just evict everybody here and call it good. Beautiful, now everybody will be happy. And I think, I mean, we might wanna do, oops, I clicked heating. We might wanna do one more just because there are some people over here. So, oh, and somebody's dead at the park. How did they die at the park? I oh, hope they were having a good time. I like the park. I don't know about you, but I like the park. Um, let's do a road, just get something going here. This might actually, well, let's see, would that cause traffic concerns? Why is this so difficult? So I was thinking about this the other day. I, I think that City Skylines is a puzzle game, or at least the way that I play it, uh, it has a lot of like puzzle elements. How do you move between, you know, different, um, different areas and, um, yeah. Like how do you, how do you move between like different traffic and stuff like that? Right. How do you, how do you create a seamless area based upon like where you are in your city and how will this affect things in the future? That's just a really interesting thought that I had about city skylines. It's not a city builder. It's more of like a city puzzler. Okay, so we're going to now go over here to this downtown section. This is big. Uh, I'm going to leave you for a few minutes. Don't worry, I'll be back. And I'm going to play some services down here. I'm going to uh, start building some of this park area as well. And uh, I want to make sure that this area is like ready to go. I don't want people moving into this area. And then turns out we have this massive death wave because I forgot to put like a hospital or something down, which is 
that's probably going to happen. All right, I'll be back. So we just finished the hospital. So I created this nice little area up front here and this area has like everything that it needs to just to get like from one section of the road to the other. Um, I tried to create and incorporate like a driveway here to have people get in and out and you know, they're actually able to use this uh, laboratory, which was super cool. And then over here, I took this, uh, this uh, what, what, what do you call this thing, a parking lot. I built this entire parking lot over here and I'm really happy with the way that that came out, but I'm noticing that I missed the clipping thing right there. So I might have to fix that in a moment because my per uh, perfectionism is, is getting me. I like the way that I created this little spot too. Uh, so this is just like the entrance into the laboratory area, or if you're moving between buildings, you would use this path here. My goal was to try to create as much like pathway areas where people can just like, you know, move in and they're not trying to like, find their way through this entire space. So then finally, I put all of this foliage over here to kind of just give a little separation on the area itself with a little bit of extra stuff going on over here behind the backside of the building as well. Now let's move into uh, other, other services. All right, so uh, we got this um, we got this nice little fancy police station going on here. Look at how nice it is. It's so pretty. So this police station is all about just like trying to trying to combine the smaller suburbs with the bigger city. I didn't want to have a police station like so far away. So I was trying best to like figure out where it needed to be. This one, I like, I like how it turned out. I'm not like crazy about it, but you know, it's pretty okay. I have like a little side area where I put like, you know, a truck kind of unloading. And then I made um, a little, what do you call it? Um, I, I mean, the driveway that connected through the entire thing. I also used um, traffic manager for that space as well because one of the things that i wanted to do with the traffic manager was ensure that we're not getting pedestrians coming through i'm seeing a few cars already making that uh that happen but you know can't be perfect so you get what you get well um i like the little gates that i added as well the gates kind of create this nice little like uh, entrance and entrance it's a secure area and, and in my uh, quest to figure out what this police station was, I don't know uh, if you remember last episode, but I, I mentioned that I wanted an intelligence agency and I found one. I found one. It's under the second tab of the police headquarters area which just makes me super excited because that means that this area, I can fulfill my dream of having an central intelligence agency uh, network and I'm super stoked about it. So we can see that right here. Look at that, boom, whoops, boom. Agency, I can't afford it. And we have the CIA in here now and I'm stoked. So I think it's gonna go somewhere over here. Um, or actually it might just replace that. Um, I might replace the air air hanger for the fire because I want I didn't I, I put this down and I was like eh, it might work I thought it would complement the disaster area nicely but I think 
think it would look better over near the airport that we will eventually create. Okay, so we are we are doing one more thing before we take off today. Oh boy. I don't know. I, I, I have two thoughts in my mind. I got two thoughts. I feel like this area right here, this whole center area is a park. And I kind of want to do that, but that's a lot of detailing work. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm going to start laying down the big, the big density here. I'm nervous about this. I'm really nervous because if I lay down the big density, that means traffic is going to start in like coming in strong in this area. And I think I laid out the grid uh, well enough to have to have decent traffic, but I don't know. I don't know. I haven't addressed it a single intersection yet. So my plan, my plan, my masterful plan is going to be lay down all this, lay down all of the, uh, the residential and commercial, a few offices as well. See what the traffic does. Come back and fix the traffic and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, let's let's start. Let's do it. Wish me luck. got it we got it look at it's starting to go it's starting to go so as this is starting to build up now ah oh, it makes me so happy that it's starting to build up I built a bunch of those policies um one of them was the idea of like just like trying to get some helicopters and stuff in here instead of like the emergency services again Thinking about traffic quite a bit. I don't want to have any traffic in this area. Wish me luck. Um, <laughs> I know how this is going to go. You don't need to tell me. Uh, and as far as like the way that I set this up, I tried to incorporate a mix of like um, residential and uh, commercial within, you know, relative like the relative areas that they are um, adjacent to. My hope is that like people aren't traveling as far to get to you know the things that they need with their commercial stuff, um, but you know we'll see we'll see how it goes in the long run. And I realized that I didn't add any offices. I honestly wasn't sure where to put them to start. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually create like this area as the um, as the residential and commercial kind of zone. Um, this whole area down here along the waterfront is going to be a park as well, as well as the middle section, of course, uh, to, uh, to help that one out. So I think as this area continues to grow and now, uh, I'm going to put the more commercial industry over here. I'm sorry, commercial industry, um, office zones and like tech areas over here. And then I'm going to add like more nightlife-y sort of like, you know, stadiums and stuff on this side. And then a mix of just some residential spattered throughout, but um, residential and commercial. So the thing that I have been thinking about the most now as this area continues to grow, ooh, look at it go, um, is like, I, I want to start to create um, a utility area. I'm not, I'm, I'm still getting a lot of waste happening here. And I don't necessarily have a spot for that, but it needs to happen sooner rather than later. So I've been eyeing, I've been eyeing this area down here for it. Um, it would, it would take a while for this area, all this poop to, um, to get out of this area. But 
I mean, you know, if it if it comes in, it comes in. The reason part is because of this bridge down here. This bridge is a train bridge. It's just a standard, you know, like it's, it exists right there. So if I get, um, you know, my my utilities and stuff maybe in this corner or even maybe on the other side, I think it would start opening stuff up. So let's let's just observe this area coming up here real quick. And uh, oh, it feels so good. Look at it. I love all the trees. It kind of reminds me of Ann Arbor. Have you ever been to Ann Arbor? Whew, we got cash flow. We've got a beautiful little downtown. I realized that I accidentally left a uh, prop and tree anarchy on, which, you know, I kind of don't mind because it's beautiful. I love it. I love like a really dense, you know, forested sort of downtown area. It just gives it this appeal of like being like, you know, surrounded by nature, even though you're in the middle of the city. Part One of the reasons why I love living in the city of Seattle is that it's, it's so forested here, uh, hence maybe why I am putting a lot of trees in my city. So, okay, well, uh, I have one more thing before I'm gonna go today. And I have to just build a little school. I realized that now, and you can see that, how there is no school of bit availability. And that was the one thing that I was like, what's, what's missing, what's missing? School, without schools. So we need a school. Well, the good news is, is that I didn't put anything here. And I, you know, actually I did put some, um, yeah, I put some of these guys right here, but I might just put a couple schools there. Let's do that. Let's do this like schoolyard right here. And then I think we'll be good to go. All right, so I've been playing for way too long. <laughs> uh, I've, been, I've been detailing. I really like this downtown section and detailing takes time. I really like what I did. There's a few things here. Um, so I built an elementary school, which is just a super simple one here. It's one of the, what is it called? It's called the community school. And I built a little parking lot next to it. And I was in a little bit of a pickle here because I was like, okay, I'm in this like corner pocket here. I can't really do a whole lot. So I was trying to kind of create this like very off, like off the beaten path kind of look um, while still maintaining like the upscale look and feel of this neighborhood. So that's what I did there. I went over here and I created this um, nice, just like community college university. I thought it would be a good idea to have this kind of at the end of the park. Um, they'll be like, like I, if you know, we want to like who owns what. It's kind of the community school owns this block, and then the city owns like this block right here. So it would kind of like blend all into one. And plus, like that community school just works really well for this area. And there's a little parking lot here for the beach parking that we're gonna build a bench um, or the the cliff parking, if you want to call it. Um, and then I think I did one more. Did I do one more? No, that's right. Because that's when I realized that I could do another one and then sit here for another hour and detail another high school. But I'm not going to. So we need a high school next time. And that's what our plan is. Our plan is to build the park, the high school, and of course, as always, take care of these utilities. Um, and look at, we've got a ton of money coming in. This is really nice. We're in a good, good spot. So. If you are enjoying uh, everything that this series has to offer, please click the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, do the things, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.